In this video, we're going to look at basic file system navigation. Uh, if you're new to Linux, maybe you're a teacher of a middle school or high school technology class and you want to have your students work with Linux for the first time. Maybe you're a Cyber Patriot competitor who needs to learn Linux. This basic file system navigation, some of these basic commands, um, are, are really some of the first things you want to pick up when you open, start working with Linux. Now, I am in VirtualBox. So I have VirtualBox open, and this is a virtualized operating system. If you're not sure how to install Linux in a virtual machine, I have a playlist that walks you through the process of setting up VirtualBox and installing Linux. You want to look for that one. I'm also using uh, Linux Mint XFCE. Uh, it doesn't matter for this particular tutorial which version of Linux you are using. There's Linux Mint, Elementary, you could even be using a Red Hat distribution at this point and it's going to work fine because these basic commands are consistent across most Linux operating systems. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my terminal program and there are two ways you can do that on Linux. Most of them, when you install by default, they're going to provide you a handy terminal icon somewhere on the desktop or the taskbar that's going to let you open up a terminal that looks like this. You can also find your menu or your applications and you can always search for the word terminal and you'll be able to find the terminal application that your distribution is using or the one that it recommends by default. I'm going to grab the top here, I'm going to drag it over to the right and it's going to split that terminal so it takes up one half of the screen. Now you're going to want to find your file manager and I'm going to do the same thing, you could drag it over so that we have our terminal on one half of the screen we have our file manager on the other half of the screen. I find for beginners, when you're just starting to work with command line and basic file navigation, having a graphical representation available as you're typing commands here can be very helpful. All right, so that is, I'm gonna end this video and in the next video we're gonna start from here and we'll start to look at basic commands.